all the way mystic sneak out that i think overall bloom has come out with a stronger draft this time around smg with a playmaker on afu with spirit breaker i think we need to expect that rotation on mid we talked about he has to contest yopaj he has to shut down the snap before it hits level six and while it can't escape so that's what we need to see from SMG. And I think for SMG, they've got the lineup to enable that. But overall, Bloom has a lineup they are very comfy and very familiar with here. Well, I'm going to go grab myself a can of Mate Mate. And I'm going to leave you both to game number two and, and all that circle talk, you know? Give me some more of the circle <laughs> talk. I'll let you guys go and jump into this game. He keeps Roger so low that he can't walk up to pop tag team. And that means you're not getting any value from that level one spell of Roger. And he's just getting harassed constantly. Sure, mid one's still fine. It's not like uh, uh, you're too slowing down and less than the Beastmaster. Dyer's courier has been killed. Seventy percent comes in clutch. Afu gonna stop the courier going down. Might even be able to chase skim now as he's got a rotation in from the mid lane, out from Moon. This might be first blood to come out for the Ember as Moon is able to pick it up and skim. Well, like you said, John, he was very, very deep and giving that first blood gold the way of Moon, especially when he's struggling against your Page in that mid lane. It's gonna be a great comeback mechanic for the Ember. Yeah, it's, it's a great way for him because his lane is kind of shut down. You see that CS board right now, 20 to 7 for Yopage, 13 to 0 for Moon. And we talked a lot about this in draft. You're seeing it in play now. Snapfire just dominates that lane. Like there, there's not much Moon can do about it. He does opt for a Sleight of Fist and Flame Guard still. But I think the emphasis has to be on that Sleight of Fist to dodge some of those plays Yopaj would want. He's about to hit 5. He's going to hit... Raging. He hasn't backed off yet. Still very confident with that ulti up. The fact that he's so tanky, but now the snowball gonna go in on to skim as the charge is also there from your Paj, and now a big ravage out. Raging timing it perfectly. Japoy though still gonna jump to the low ground, but Moon should be able to chase him down slowly but surely and eventually find this kill. As your Paj, he will still keep trying to run, and Moon, well, he doesn't actually have enough. He can't chase him down much further without any remnants. Your Paj still gets himself out of there. The bash is there from Arfu, so a nice pick up for Moon. They want a bit more. They want to infiltrate those ancient stacks and try to slow down Jackie's farm once again. As Raging will jump in with the anchor smash, but I think Boom will try and force the fight here. They've got the Mortimer's Kisses. They're just lacking FBZ at the moment. But you definitely don't want to give that farm away to SMG if you can avoid it. So Jackie's going to come back in with the Mystic Snake. X is out already on the arm. Going to the Mortimer's Kisses. And that's just break of God. As Jackie is going to the farm with the Ancients right now. He's not even focusing heroes. Raging though. He'll go for the Ravage and they found the Snapfire. But your part is still alive. Still running away. He's not down yet. In fact, a big Earth Spike scam. He'll find two. Mid one. He drops first and Raging. He probably does not make it out either as somehow the snapfire has completely juked out moon once again Phil Coffin will have to try and go snowball starts out Tim's now going to join in with the Moonlight Shadow and the Earth Fight to set up the Earth mid one he's around to try and defend but it won't matter the finger is just way too quick from Skem his third kill of the game already on this lion and now they know where mid one is boom esports they probably won't be able to capitalize off that knowledge right now but it won't matter. They know he's in the triangle somewhere, and that does mean Jackie's probably safe across the map, and that should be all that matters for the snap. They will even find Skem, rather FBZ, but Pango just proving to be a little bit too tanky. Be able to walk himself out. Shadow even popped here from Tim. Jackie is gonna find Arthur, but they're gonna go in onto the Medusa and try to deal with it. But he just pops the stone gaze back in onto the Spirit Breaker. The Ravage, though, will come out, but Arthu has already gone, and now with the Rolling Thunder, they can really chase down the side of SMG, and it looks like they should at least have Raging Potato to boot. The Raging is gonna try and buy a bit more time, and a bit counter this year. It's just his team. They're gonna try again on the skin. They'll take the Lion down, but they've lost one for a mid one. He gets caught out, and he's gonna drop. Tim's with the arrow, landing perfectly. With the cookie, raging. He'll turn around, he'll cop the fire from your Paj. And FBZ will be the one to take the kill. A four for one trade, I believe it was. Moon Esports again, just dominating game number two.
And we're seeing the same thing come back to once more in mid one, which is still a ways off. Now, they are still set up for a fight. They don't have the longest cooldowns to wait for outside of Ravage. They can constantly force the issue here, but Jackie doesn't particularly care either. Right? Just running up here. They're gonna try. This one is around, but can you actually deal with this guy? If Jackie gets out the ground, they're still throwing everything at him. Now with the roll is fun, he's out of mana, so Jackie's in big, big trouble. He's still trying to man fight this one out. He's eventually surely gonna die and die. But what's it gonna cost the fight of the for this? They've lost Moon on the Ember, Raging's low as well. MPC just controlling everybody up on the side of the Dire. But after he's back in with the charge. It's just not enough though. Raging is still gonna drop. I guess maybe you could call that worthwhile. It's still a two-for-one trade in the favor of Boom Esports, but I guess at least they got the Medusa. Or at least everybody else around him. Chances are you're going to be sitting pretty pretty on the SMG's end of things, but they still need their own farm before they man up as five and will constantly up that big main move. He's going to get hexed up. Do they have the follow-up? Or oh, the snowball? It's going to buy a bit of time. That skem has already gone down. Roger, though, he brings the Ember right back in, and he's going to lose his own life, but he does save move. All that matters right now for SMG is just ensuring this Ember can keep just taking off. Yeah, Pash. You will step around onto R2. Big chase on though from SMG is mid one and moon. Commit the remnants, but I think your Pash is going through the out of there, and now the turnaround might be upon us. FBZ rolling thunder from the backside. Arrow is oh. gonna land him. He doesn't miss these arrows, John. He'll take down Moon and Raging Potato. Well, we've seen this before. He's gonna try to run, and he does have the help around him, but he may not pursue any further. They've also caught out our food. FBZ. Open up the floodgates. The land is going to fly out from Raging. They will get killed, but it's a lot of damage in the earthquake. Catching out two again with the snow. Oh my god. Hockey of the three heroes. Jackie, he will get right to work. Raging just about to drop, but somehow still moving out of there. But they do eventually get him. And now they can chase for the rest. FBZ will at least find Roger. But they really want mid one and Oh, yes, oh. Marge. Just spots him out with the no! observer ward and an ultra killer for the for the snap fire. Jackie does take away the rampage. How oh, dare you, Jackie? Jack. There's no iPhone for him if he keeps doing that. But... <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Paj, man, he's doing so much work. And, and all of Boom, honestly, are just playing so well. They're getting their positions right, they're forcing SMG in every time with their morphling to take these engagements, and they get good ravages. They get some good saves with the snowball. The issue is all the AOE control of Boom punishes you for large snowballs. Like the cookie comes in, the earth spikes there, the rolling thunder is there. They, they're just playing so well as a unit from Boom. And this is the impressive part. They take in this new part of this machine, the jacket still works out well. SMG not going to get this one up there. They're going to try and find it for the stone gates and the rolling thunder of FBZ. He's found some targets again. Into the board of the pieces now. He wants to so far. He was out of range. They couldn't save him. He'll buy back and try to reinitiate, but his team is falling apart around him. Three buybacks already from SMG. They jump back in on the Dusa. Jack is falling low in terms of mana, but he does pop that stone gaze in R2. He was charging the right, wrong target. Couldn't lock him down. Still, they'll drive back in for the Roshan now, knowing all those spells are down, and SMG might be able to get away from it. R2, no scam. He's jumped in, but it's not enough. Mid one does get the Aegis up, but can he survive as the arrow has landed on the morph? It looks like he can. So boom, they will lose the Roshan. They might even lose your Yapaj here, but he does manage to blink away in time. And with the Iron Scarty slow out from Jackie, it looks like it's going to be Roger's life to pay. They even keep trying to fight, but the arrow Ooh. again onto Moon. Tim's is Mid just not missing. Mid one wait for him to try and help out, but now he's in trouble. He does at least get the sun off, but your Yapaj is there. Still strength morphing. Maybe he has a chance. He'll wait for him the other way. Still the chase is on Tim's. He will not connect the star for the kind of blast. He's not going to get the from the least of them. Mid one, he's trying to make magic. Magic happen, but he loses the ages. He will still have his real life, however. To wait for in terms of cooldown, so he can just rinse and repeat here. Now I'm gonna fight into the ravage this time, but like you mentioned, they've got all their spells available. See Moonlight Shadow to sneak their way up to the high ground. Gee, oh, they're gonna take the bait, Jackie. The bit. Right now, it's very thunder. It's gonna be out. Oh, mid one, he rolled right into the arrows. But it may not matter as they have the permit stuff for them. 
BZ, and the chase is on, just driving all over the place, finding out another hero who'll get the time. And maybe not use this Ravage, or maybe he can. A four man, in fact, five man Ravage up, but do they have the follow up? Do they really have the damage? It doesn't seem like it. Even with Moon around, he's just got no damage items at the moment. He's only got a BKB. The Yupar shall chase him down. It's already a 4 for one play. And they might even have the Ember. They force him to BKB up. He'll try out to skim, try to get something going for themselves. But the Yupar will keep chasing him down with the Yules up, but no, the Cookie. It's the wrong way around, and that'll be enough. So a 2 for 4 trade, the way of Boom Esports. That was a, a very desperate Ravage play coming up from SMG, but I suppose they had to get some. But that takes a while without these damage items up because these supports on Boom can just stall out for such a long time and make it very punishable if you overcommit. As we said from the draft, like they can rip through the back line but they can't afford to overcommit like that. Jack boy, so. Thunder into R third, but you've got mid one charging and himself in this morphling with the axe up. Problem is again, they are lacking that follow-up damage even if they have this further start. Long time not, maybe stopped in his tracks. Mid one does try to get started. And no damage break, but there's his kind of blast down there. Finally go down to Roger. Meanwhile, Moon no. just in, but I think he got sunned up immediately. Moon still alive. They're trying not to tins and they'll get the Marana down, but now Med one. He's been caught out again. He should be alright to get out though. He probably won't have enough on his own. But they will find Moon on the Ember. The Apage again setting up for a triple kill, and here comes Mid oh, one. No. Just trying to TP away, but it's gonna be another Watch kill to go the way of Boom Esports. As Scam has just proved to be such an issue on this lion. Constantly setting up for the team fights. They, they just still can't kill him, John. They cannot no, kill Scam. Didn't know where Scam was. Roshan, we're gonna see in about half a minute. I think this is where the next fight will really break out. Boom in a good position to take it. They've got the outputs to pop. Oh, they find some freebies, they're not careful. Oh, you got Shards up with the cookie follow up and they get him. Burn. He gets a DD room, but it's a very expensive route to pick up for him as even Raging Potato has been caught. I have the final to try and get away, but your Paj is all over it. He knows the tricks. 17 kills already for this Snapfire. Uh, that is just incredible. And that's terrifying. He can't even show up on the Ember. Just the instant stunts are too much. Now Mid went down boss, Mike. He's on Trank Morphing, John. He does get it off in the end, but the Snowball is going to try and buy him a little bit more time on this way. He's on the way, but look at this. They just chase him all the way down. Roger just gets completely ignored. FBZ is still trying, as there goes your task. But keep the vision up with this Tango. But mid one, surely, should be able to get himself out of this. Keep in mind that while this is happening, Jack is getting racks. Jack is going like it. Alright, and they've still got mid one by the way. Mid one has officially been caught out. The arrow on the backside. They're gonna buy it back, but it's too late. It is way what did he do? too late they... for the buyback. They leave the racks. They're, they're going for the fight. They're letting Jackie solo the high ground when he's very vulnerable by himself. They're just opting to take this fight. Jackie's just playing an RPG right now on his own. He doesn't need to join the team at the moment, but they are still fighting. You are correct. They have not backed off, but after he's already gone, they at least want to get down on the lion. It's still not looking good for him as Jackie is still just taking all the buildings away. This is the greatest bait I've seen in a long time. There's Arthur. He's going to chase down the Pango. Sure, you get another hero, but you've lost two lanes at once. And then your card is back in. They want to the Ember. Be safe on the snowball for now, but for how long? There's your Ravage out by Raging, trying to turn this one around. But can you deal with Jackie? I don't think they can, John. I do not think they can deal with him. Even if it was 1v5, the Medusa is perfectly fine. Here we go. They're going to try and go into that triangle, but the D wards are immediately out here with Jackie. Both basically broken. Roshan is now officially up, but... Unless everything goes perfectly for SMG, it's going to be impossible to try and counter the Roshan play as our food. After he scouted out, but he does break the smoke back, never mind. He went for the charge and then he's going to pay for it. They just annihilate the Spirit Breaker. FBZ, he's going to have a look for a bit more, but misses out. It won't matter though, because they've got a nice Roshan to go back to. And our food has no buyback available. This is not going to take long at all. Oh. Yeah, they're gonna try and deal with that BZ, but he has the Aegis and the spider legs. Jackie will move on to the high ground. They're ignoring Roshan, he wants the team fight. They might be back 
time to go back to the Roshan now as the smoke is going to be there from SMG. I suppose you could try for the Aegis still once again. That might be the way to do it. Shards out for vision. Oh, Moon gonna blink his way in. Very aggressive play here from Moon. As he will pop the BKB. He's trying to go after FBZ. First he's right now. He won't be, but no, he's still alive. Ravage is there. They are still trying onto this tango. And they will eventually get it. They've lost Roger for this. And now maybe raging. Oh, it's petrified up, but never mind. An arrow does land onto Moon. He was just stunned up permanently. They get the ember, they'll get the tusk. And now they're having a look over for mid one. See if we can land a nice arrow here from Tins. Zyapaj, he's on the chase, but a nice wave form away from mid one. He's gonna allow him to get out. And instead they'll go back into the Roshan. And no worries now, no Ravage out from SMG, no buybacks available from the Ember. And that's gonna be originally two with free shard. Big spike out for Jackals once again. It just makes these fights so much harder. Like, they can just smoke up, they can just take that tier 2 boss, go for the Mega Creeps, or just go for the end. I, I don't know if SMG has enough of even fight one with your force right now. On mid one, scam. Not gonna be him. Busy. Around for other people. Blue Light Shadow and the Silver Edge now from your party. They should be able to take their way in. Instead, however, they found Arthur and they prefer to go for the supports first. Oh my god, Mike. Level 25, you lead right now. 26k net worth advantage. Okay, double line for Jackie. The final tip the arrow does land on the moon already. They are already has jumped in right to the center of who they're aiming. They got skim on that line. And now so many has been popped Jackie. Who are we aiming? He'll go off the tide again. We need to get rid of that rabbit as he does now pop it. Mid one though, getting very low as well. They're just grouped up in that tree line. But they do take down the tide. And they will be charged back in on that BD, but he's gone too far. He's gone way too far, but he'll wait for back to the look of time to survive for another day. He completely melts the side of SMG, just hurting them down. They might even find Arthur. An ultra kill once again for the Snapfire. In fact, he's looking for the Rampage, John. Up at top lane. Find mid one. No mid one, he'll waveform away to the tier four tower. Another ultra kill. I doubt he makes it in time for the Rampage. <laughs> but you never know. But I think it is about too late. Yeah, SMG, they forced the fight right here too. They, sh they needed to force room up to the, to the racks, or at least there's a little bit more leeway there. Another eight. That's it. They found Rage, that's the assignment. My goodness, that's a lot of damage, mid one. Wait for the right into them. Moon's been hexed up. That's his life gone. It's mid one and Roger versus the world, but they call it GG. Moon Esports will be the victor on this list of three series. I hear that puts them right through the upper triple. I don't know. It does. They are. They do move on. Rampage tonight from Yopage. Jackie is not getting an iPhone from that. Yopage has anything to say about it, but boom.